What's up, savvy expats? In today's video, we're tackling the cost of living in one of the best places for an expat to reside in the Philippines, Cebu City. Is it affordable? Do you get bang for your buck here? Today we find out. So before we get into the cost of living and break down the expenses of living in Cebu City, let me give you a brief introduction of what Cebu City actually is. Situated in the central Visayas region of the Philippines, Cebu City, also known as the Queen City of the South, is the oldest city in the Philippines. But that isn't to say it's outdated. As a matter of fact, this metropolis is a first-class, highly urbanized city offering both modern conveniences and historical culture. So what was once an early settling ground for Spanish conquistadors and a prosperous trading port for the Chinese, Thai, and Arabian merchants is now home to business districts with IT hubs, residential condos, international companies, retail centers, real estate developments, and world-class facilities. Needless to say, Cebu City is one of the most rapidly developing cities in all of the Philippines. So if you're looking for a westernized, urbanized, and first-class city living in the Philippines, there's a few places that I would recommend. In Manila, you have BGC, Makati, and Ortigas. In Cebu, you have IT Park and Cebu Business Park. And so the province of Cebu has a lot to offer in terms of provincial beach type living and metropolis city living. Now enough of that, let's break down the expenses to live here. So as usual, we start with the category of rent. Of course, your rental cost will be highly dependent on what neighborhood in Cebu City you're living in. If you opt to live in a safer, cleaner, and more urbanized area like IT Park, of course your rent will be higher. But here I have a graph of six different neighborhoods in Cebu City and their average rental prices. As you can see, the rental prices are broken up into two categories, an apartment slash condo category and a two bedroom house category. Turn your attention to the apartment and condo category and you'll see that the rent roughly ranges from $260 per month at the lowest to $725 per month at the highest. As for the rent for a two bedroom house, rent ranges from $435 at the lowest to $960 at the highest. So as you can tell, the rent, whether it's for an apartment or a house, is generally affordable. Now if we're talking top-notch neighborhoods in Cebu City like IT Park and Cebu Business Park, rental prices are much higher. From scrolling through Lamuni.com, I found that the average price for a good quality one-bedroom unit in the heart of IT Park costs 30,000 pesos per month, or in dollars, $600 per month rent. Of course, you'll find other well-furnished units that are a couple thousand pesos higher and other units that are lower than this. Now, if you're looking for more space, a nice two bed, two bath unit in the heart of the city would cost you around 65,000 pesos per month or in dollars, $1,300 per month. But I don't think it's enough that I just tell you the rental prices. Let me actually give you some visual examples. So here we have an example of a one bed, one bath unit at Avita Towers in IT Park. This particular unit is going for 25,000 pesos per month or $500 per month. And for that, you're getting 33 square meters or 355 square feet of space. So not that big. Getting into the pictures, here we have the dining room area with the bedroom being just straight ahead. If we turn around to the opposite view, you can see that you have the living room area there in the back, which stepping into the living room, you just have a simple couch and TV. And as you can see from this angle, this is where you actually enter into the condo. Now stepping back into the dining room area, here we have the simple kitchen. To the left, there's the bathroom, and inside the bathroom, you have all of your basic necessities. And lastly, as for the bedroom, it's a modest size with a window view of IT Park. Now let's get into a two-bed, two-bath unit in IT Park Cebu. So this two bed, two bath unit is a condominium called Calix Center. Calix Center is in a prime location in IT Park. And as you can see, this unit would set you back around 65,000 pesos per month or in dollars, roughly $1,300 per month. For that, you're getting 99 square meters of space or 1,065 square feet of living space. Now getting into the pictures, you'll immediately notice the well-lit living room area with an abundance of natural light coming from the balcony view. We switch angles and you can see the rest of the living room with the dining area in the back. Speaking of, there's the four person dining table and here's the kitchen equipped with your basic kitchen necessities moving on here we have the first bedroom not bad you have a decent sized bed in this one and as for the second bedroom it's also a modest size and well lit just like the last bedroom lastly here's bedroom number one equipped with your shower sink and toilet and bathroom number two equipped with the same so we already covered the rental prices in the it park district of cebu city it roughly ranges around 500 dollars for a one bedroom unit up to 1300 dollars per month for a two bedroom unit but what about for one of the other upscale neighborhoods in cebu city cebu business park well based off of the rental prices i've seen on lamuni.com the average price for a nice one bedroom unit is around 70,000 pesos per month or in dollars 1400 dollars per month so off the bat 
we can see that the rental prices in Cebu Business Park is more expensive than IT Park, generally speaking. Now, if you're looking to snag yourself a top tier two bedroom unit in Cebu Business Park, be prepared to pay around 130,000 pesos per month or in dollars, $2,600 per month. And remember, this is for a nice unit. You can just as well find yourself a 70,000 peso or $1,400 per month two bed unit. Now, let me show you some examples of these units. So here we have a one bed, one bath unit at the alcoves. This unit is going for 70,000 pesos per month or $1,400 per month rent. And for that, you're getting 62 square meters or 667 square meters of living space. Getting into the pictures, please excuse the watermark. There you have the living room and dining room area. As you can see to the left, the unit is equipped with a decent sized kitchen and behind that you can see the tv and straight ahead is the entry to the unit getting a closer look there you can better see the entry to the left and the kitchen straight ahead as you'll notice there's the dining table and behind that is the balcony view we step into the bedroom and it's a decent size you have a good sized bed and the closet is in the back and lastly here's a bathroom that's well finished and equipped with all you can need now let's take a look at a two bedroom unit in cebu business park so here we have a two bed two bath unit at park Park Point residences in the city. This unit is going for 130,000 pesos per month or $2,600 per month rent. And for that, you're getting 111 square meters or nearly 1,200 square feet of living space. Now getting into the pictures, this is what you'll open up to. Off the bat, you'll immediately notice the natural light coming in from the exceptionally sized windows. Behind that view, there's the entrance to the unit along with the dining table to the right and kitchen to the left. And you'll notice the living room is a decent size, but the main highlight is the view. You can see that there's a balcony to the left. From here, you get a glimpse of the kitchen, which stepping inside is a great size, especially for Philippine kitchen standards. You have a four burner stovetop and cabinets. There's a sink and the counter, and it pretty much opens up to the rest of the unit. Now, as for the first bedroom, it's a sizable room with good space. Of course, you'll also get a nice view from the window, but what's even better is the master bedroom. First off, you can see that the master bedroom has its own balcony, and from here, you'll notice that the size is good. What's also nice is that it has its own ensuite bathroom, which stepping inside the bathroom, it's pretty up to date with everything you can need. There's a toilet and sink, and then the second bedroom, which is also up to date with the shower, sink, and toilet. The last thing I wanna show you guys is also the balcony view. This is your view from the master bedroom, and then here's the balcony that's led outside from the living room. Very spacious. Now that we got the rent covered in Cebu City along with its examples, let's do a rent recap. All in all, it depends on which neighborhood you choose to live in. Rent can be as cheap as $400 per month and as high as $2,600 per month. But for practicality's sake, let's meet somewhere in the middle at $1,000 per month. Reason being is because $1,000 can afford you either a two bedroom house in one of Cebu's neighborhoods or a one bedroom unit in the city. So that said, let's say setting aside $1,000 per month gives the average Joe optimal flexibility in living choices. Next, we're covering utilities. On average, your electricity bill will linger somewhere around $120 per month. Your water bill may be around $40 per month. And for solid internet, expect to pay around $60 per month and up. So in total, having a monthly utility bill of $250 per month wouldn't be anything out of the ordinary. Now we're moving on to transportation. Of course, this category largely depends on how often you get around and how you get around. If you're taking public transportation like a jeepney or a tricy, it will cost you no more than 30 cents or 15 pesos. If you're taking a grab, rates don't really go much higher than $5 or 250 pesos for a close trip. So all in all, let's say you want to explore a lot and you're taking grab often, then $50 budget for the month is reasonable. Next thing we have to take into consideration is the food expenses. If you're opting for sticking to a Western diet and eating at Western restaurants like TGI Fridays or Mickey D's, then $400 per month is plenty. And yes, that can definitely accommodate too. Now let's say you're sticking to a local diet. You're eating at the carinderias, you're shopping at the wet markets, and you're consuming local produce. Well, a diet like this where rice, fish, and veggies are cheap should be no more than $200 per month. So assuming that some of you are primarily sticking to a Western diet because Trust me, those cravings do kick in. Let's say your monthly food costs are around $400 per month. Next thing to consider is health insurance. If you want to relocate to the Philippines, bring a healthcare package from your home country that includes a Cebu-based authorized hospital. And there are so many well-known hospitals in Cebu City that offer good services and use of world-class technologies. The most well-known hospital in the city is Changhua Hospital. 
The cost for a medical checkup is around $10 to $15. Another well-known hospital in the city is UC Med Cebu, and it is located in Manduao near Changhua Medical Arts. The cost for a medical checkup is the same as Changhua Hospital, $10 to $15. And so these are two of the most popular hospitals in the city because of the advanced technologies they use and the quality of service that they offer to their patients. Let's just say you're getting monthly medical checkups, so this category is around $15 per month, and I'd only hope that you're not getting injured and spending more than this. Now let's talk about entertainment costs. If you're tired at staying at home and watching TV, then you may want to go to the mall and watch a cinema. It will cost you around $10 per ticket. Also, if you like clubbing, there are famous nightclubs in the city. So if you're planning on going clubbing, then you need a budget of $100 to $200 depending on how much people you plan on bringing with. If you're a fan of beaches, then you may want to try to visit some of the beaches in the province of Cebu. The most famous beaches are found in Moalbal, Cebu. Usually, you'll only have to pay the entrance fee. And for a nice place to stay for a couple of nights, this could cost around $300. Assuming that you'll want to experience new places around Cebu City, check out the bars and clubs, or even spend the weekend at a nearby resort, let's say that a decent budget is $400 per month. Now, to end this cost of living breakdown, let's do a quick recap. So we said that the average price for rent is $1,000 per month. As for the utility costs, expect to pay around $250 per month. Transportation would be nearly $50 per month. For a Western diet, food expenses would be around $400 per month. Your hospital bill for a monthly checkup would be around $15 per month. And lastly, the cost of being active with entertainment is around $400 per month. So all in all, your total cost of living for a quality lifestyle in Cebu City would be around $2,115 per month. Again, that is for a top quality lifestyle, not counting pennies and not just scratching by. By all means, if you want to live modestly and minimalistically, then living on $1,000 to $1,500 per month is definitely feasible. So I want to make that clear. $2,000 per month for most locals in the Philippines is definitely on the high side. For most expats, I personally don't think so because expats naturally have higher expenses, but with this, you get a higher standard of living. So of course guys, keep in mind that depending on your personal lifestyle and expenses, your cost of living may be more or less than what I mentioned. And so there you have it Tevi expats, that is everything you need to know about the cost of living in Cebu City. If you enjoyed this video or found any value out of it, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below the next place you want me to cover the cost of living. And so thank you for watching Savvy Expats and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.